Hey, I'm Billy Drain from Miller Industries, and today I have Mike Frazier here with me. In continuing our journey to bring the Florida show to you, today we're going to talk about the 1135. The 1135 has become an increasingly popular unit uh, in the rotator product line. We're seeing more and more companies adding the 1135 to their fleet because it's a great front line towing unit that also gives you that rotating recovery capability. It's also been one of our highest volume manufactured units over the years. The reason for that is because this platform has been used for the military contracts that we've fulfilled around the world. One of the things that makes the 1135 great for towing is it's equipped with a 55,000 pound underlift, similar to what you would see on an 1150 or 1075. Also, with the rotating recovery boom, being able to put that boom over the cab adds additional weight to the steer axle where you want it and gives you additional overhang clearance for those larger loads. And what we're going to show you today is the brute strength of the Century 1135. We got this 37,500 pound coil that we're going to show you that this unit has no problem taking from one side to the other. But before we do that, we're going to talk a little bit more about some of the features and benefits of the 1135. So let's talk a little bit about the knee boom underlift. We offer the knee boom in two different configurations. First, in the street lowrider version that you see here at 157 inches. We also offer it in a coach version at 174 inches. This particular unit is going to our good friends Rondo Towing in Quebec, Canada. They opted for the street lowrider version because the reach that they need will be plenty at 157 inches, but also will reduce that overhang when they go into the retracted position. Most customers opt for the knee boom underlift because they're looking for height when they're towing those different casualties on the road. As you can see here, the height of this underlift at horizontal is 42 inches. We also use one large cylinder for power, tilt, and fold, similar to the proven design used in the Vulcans over the years. You'll also notice at full height that we still have clearance of the recovery boom to keep us underneath that 13.6 mark. In fact, in most applications, we'll be at 12 foot 2 inches with the recovery boom over the knee boom underlift. So with the height of the knee boom underlift, it enables us to tow empty trailers or dump trailers to get the height that's required in those applications. This unit comes equipped with 35,000 pound planetary winches. That's an upgrade. The standards are 25,000. The 1135 is also available with a 25,000 pound, a 35,000 pound, or in this case, a 50,000 pound planetary drag winch. The 50,000 pound drag winch, as you see here, gives you 200 foot of three quarter inch wire rope. Now I'm gonna throw it over to Mike. He's gonna talk a little bit about the setup, show you the recovery, and we're gonna play with this coil. Hey, thanks, Billy. We're all set up to do the lift on the 37,500 pound coil, and now we're gonna talk about the setup of the truck a little bit. Today we're gonna to be lifting this coil and rotating it. When you're lifting, you're gonna want the entire truck off the ground, wheels suspended because the chassis is used as the counterweight. If you're going to be doing a truck that was stuck or a casualty stuck out in the middle of the mud, you'd leave the tires on the ground for resistance. But since we're lifting and rotating around, you definitely want the whole truck off the ground. Standard on the 1135 is the 212 inch wide, two stage front legs. And in the rear, you have the standard 176 inch, three stage rear legs. As you can see, we do have the rear legs cribbed here. A couple reasons we do that. One reason is it spreads out the square foot of the pressure you're putting on the ground. You never know what's running under the ground here. And if the lot is a little unlevel like ours is, we needed a little bit extra height in the rear, so we just put a little cribbing underneath these rear legs to be able to gain that height. As you can see here, we're using the blue 16-foot recovery strap. In the basket, it's rated at 42,400. The coil is approximately 37,500, so we're definitely within working load limit. We got our lines two-parted. We have our screw pin shackles, round strap into the round shackle. We have a uh, mud flap here for a little protection so it doesn't cut the strap. And the block of wood here just simply keeps the strap away from the sharp edge of the coil. All right, we're gonna start to lift on this coil here, guys. Initially, when you lift this weight, you never wanna lift with your boom cylinders. You just wanna lift with the winch lines. Just lift it real slow and let the coil find its own natural center of gravity. As you can see, it's swinging a little bit. It's gonna find its own center of gravity. Let it sit there for a second, and it'll calm down a little bit, and then you'll be ready to go around this corner. You can see as Mike's operating this lift, he's using the proportional wireless controller. That gives him the ability to step away from the 1135 to be able to see how the truck is reacting. 
Uh, when he gets to the corner, he's looking at that opposite side outrigger. That's where it's created that longest lever. So he's making sure that those outrigger platforms are staying firmly on the ground. And that also keeps him out of that danger area there at the driver's side control station. One rule of thumb is if you're outside of the outrigger, you're most likely always going to be able to clear that tailboard. Billy, how are we looking on the tailboard there? And you see with that proportional remote, he can operate multiple functions at the same time. As he's rotating around the corner, he's able to, to lower that boom and then boom it out, outside of that outrigger uh, edge there, to be able to clear the corner. And as you can see, the 1135 has no problem taking this 37,500 pound coil right around that corner. So if you had to transfer it from one trailer to another, would not be an issue whatsoever. And that is the Century 1135, the smallest rotator that we manufacture, taking 37,500 pounds all the way around the corner. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed the demo today with the 1135. And keep watching for more Florida Show units coming your way. Miller Industries, the world leader in towing and recovery equipment. This video is for product demonstration purposes only and is not intended for training or instructional purposes. Situations vary and operators should rely on their own professional knowledge and safety procedures when conducting actual recoveries.